Guys, hello. So check that out. It's why I came here today. I was heading this way. I think I was going to head further south, but there's no way you can not want to stop when all that's going on. Look at that. Pulling cars around. How cool is that? Looks like races or something. I don't know. That is the coolest thing ever. I'll go get a close-up on that, but I wanted you guys to see something. So it's afternoon. It was raining all morning. I'm just going to do a quick review of this uh, coil. I'm going to turn you around. You guys have got to see this. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. What is that? That is insane, guys. So I was thinking earlier as I'm putting it on or, you know, just the thought of it, right? So if you're not overlapping this coil, you're like jogging down this, jogging down the sand. WTF. I don't even know where to begin. Look at it swallows that thing for breakfast. So, yeah, so this is what we're doing today, right? It just rained, which is really good because you can uh, drag the coil across the sand. Um, I'm just going to do a quick white sand hunt. I'm going to head up that way past the kites, and I don't know. I really don't care. I'm just having a good time with uh, the knocks in this huge <laughs> coil. I'll let you know. We'll, uh, we'll dig some deep ones today. How about that? All right, guys, so before I go any further and do any other things, I want to show you guys something. That ring right there is 10 carat. That's the 10 carat cross. That's the 10 carat that I just found the other day on the beach. That's the 14 carat diamond ring. That's a 14 carat opal. That's a 14 carat sapphire. And that's a 14 carat diamond ring. So I'm going to test them all right here on the beach, okay? Here you go. Watch the VID. You see that? It's a five. That's a 10 carat ring. 16, 17. That's a 10 carat ring. This is a 14 carat diamond. It's an 11. That's a 14 carat opal. Solid 12. That's a 14 carat sapphire. Watch this number. You guys gonna be picking up gum wrappers from now on when you see that 14 carat sapphire? And then that's a 14 carat diamond. How crazy is that, guys? So 14, 14, 14, 14, 10, 10. Could you even see that, guys? Let's try that again. All right, here's my functions real quick. Normal iron bias, four. Volume 25, no threshold, five tones, simple. Beach one, sensitivity, 20. All right, that's four scoops out of a 14. Unless I'm just totally off with this thing. Thirteen, fourteen out of the hole. It's ninety percent sure she's a full tab, but it is just a test run. So uh, I'm a little bit nervous because, look, it's a deep, it wasn't, it was making more sound a minute ago, but I don't know where to dig. 
I don't know where to dig and I'm, I'm really nervous. I'll dig this up and then I'll bring you back. All right, so I got it. Sounds like a bottle cap. It's banging 13, 12, 13 with a grunt. But it was two more scoops on this side, but it's all of 15, you know, that's 15 inch coil. So it's a foot and, a foot and a half deep. Grunting at me. And there's some rust. So, and I got the thing on F29, so maybe when it's that deep, it doesn't really grunt at you. All right, so I'm thinking this is gonna be a can, or a bottom of a can or something. So yeah, that's the result, a two 30 inch hole with uh, a can bottom that I told you what it was gonna be. So obviously we know our machines, you know not to dig up a 22 or whatever, but the sad part is our machines are so smart that I knew that that was a can bottom. And what do we do? We just walk by that. You know, we're like, oh no, that's a can bottom. We don't, we don't spend the time to dig up a 30 inch hole to clean our beaches, right? Right guys? So the machines are almost ruining our environment. You know, it's just sad that we don't have a metal detector that just beeps when it's metal. We have something that I knew that it was a 21 to 23 and it was a can bottom. You know, so I don't know. This machine is super deep. I knew what it was and I knew how deep it was. All right, that's the coolest kite I've ever seen in my life. It's a big dragon and we're gonna have to go over and check it out guys, but look at this. You see the size of this little piece of can slaw? It's not even, look, it's on the tip of my finger, right? Watch, I'm gonna drop it. You guys gotta watch me drop it, right? Watch, there it is on the ground somewhere there. You can't even see it when I drop it, but listen to this sound. Holy moly, guys. Listen to this sound. Can you hear that? Thing sounds like that banging ring that I just showed you that was a number nine. Did you see the size of that? Oh man. All right, well, I gotta dig something, right? Sand's super hard to dig in. I mean, it's like shell pack. There's no pinpoint in this like the 11 incher. I have to use my whole foot. And then a pinpointer, how about that? Hey, a rosy. What, what? Found something valuable. Made the whole trip worth it. All right, let's head on. Uh, this, this spot right here has some really good feelings for me because like four chairs down or three chairs down was where I found the 22 gram 15 diamond GT ring that paid for my AT Pro in you know, the third day. So this place has this warm spot in my heart, right? I found the five diamond platinum ring, five diamond platinum ring, like right there in a weed line. And it, and it was with the AT Pro. And uh, I remember because the, the number was a, a nickel, right? It was a 52 or whatever. I'm pretty sure 52 was the nickel number. And I'm like, ah, oh, just another nickel. And man, when you think you're about ready to pick up a nickel and you pick up something that looks like you're like, no way, there's no way those diamonds are real. And then it was a five diamond platinum Zales ring. So unbelievable. All 
I'm thinking I'll get used to this. I think it's more for like, you know, the other coast or, or areas where you got like all day with three signals on the on the wet sand or something. I, I don't know. Twelve thirteen out of the hole. Not like I can pinpoint it with this though, you know? Nice. Nice. It could have easily been a gold ring. I know the, well, I'm not going to mention any scoops anymore. I've given that guy enough advertisement and he hasn't sent me a scoop yet. Look at that. What, what? That's why it's making, oh man. There's no stone in it. There's no stone in it. Oh, that stinks. That stinks bad. Do you guys got a diamond detector? In my luck, I'll get that home and find out it was like a diamond or 14 karat white gold. Oh man, there's no diamond in it. Oh, how do you find a diamond stud with no diamond? Oh. I hope to find a wife someday. I've already met my soulmate. Made me realize that I'm supposed to be giving more change my life into a different pattern and path. Now if I could just meet my life partner, I would be happy. Guys, I should have brought you along. You never would have believed that. That 16, 17 turned into this. I was such in disbelief I had to like rub it like really hard I'm like oh what do I got some like foreign coin no that's I see George it's a George the 1617 turned into a 30 I just saw 24 though I don't know why the reading is so sporadic with this coin it's weird so oh Oh, because there's something else there. That's why. Huh. Oh, that's just... That's just... Uh, it's a coin spool, apparently, in 1908. <laughs> no, I don't know. That's an old coin spool. And I'm out in a spot where you typically wouldn't look, guys, so I like this coil for one reason, because it had me wandering out to a spot that I wouldn't normally look in. Oh, but wait. There's the 2425. That was crazy, guys. 
So, <laughs> so remember I said always check your hole, and I just put the coil down on a, what is probably the penny of the group. Now I'm gonna fill my whole, my whole video with a wedding. Sounds like it's right on the top. Another screw? Oh, what is that? Just a giant snap swivel. The photographer came out. How cool would it be if I got into a wedding photo? What, what? Hashtag Vermont Derek in the way. Guys, this kite makes the coolest sound. It sounds like a crop duster. I don't know if it's kite competition or what. These things are flying themselves. Nobody's holding on to that. How cool is that? I'll go around the front. I'm trying to get up there, but... This is spectacular. Glad I came here. Sorry I didn't get any fines. I'm just here to test out that beast. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate it. Uh, I can't wait to get over to Galveston, you know, when we're down in the islands. But we're doing some long swinging over some really flat beaches and stuff with Krusty. See ya. Surf is fine. Fiskers too, guys. Sweet. That's a $20 pair of scissors. Nice. Hey, you guys want my pennies? I put all my pennies. Pre-82, everything in there. I'm sure there's five dollar four dollars in there that you could dig out i don't know but it's a joke so you guys send me thirty dollars and i'll send you ten dollars worth of pennies all right guys super quick wrap up today check it out quarter three dimes three nickels four pennies cool snap swivel and then yeah bottle caps because uh i was digging some deep deep signals uh two earrings check it out one very festive New Year's Eve ball or something that you'd wear on New Year's Eve for sure and then a diamondless stud find of the day pair of Fiskers that's it love you guys see you tomorrow I'm gonna probably do some sort of wet sand hunting somewhere tomorrow morning and uh, it actually looks like you're in the Caribbean the water's turquoise there very good. it is so clear but there's this giant <coughs> giant sandbar on the south end of the lake and almost every day there's people there but on the weekend it's just it's yeah, it's just like fun. music on mullet it's with cold, the boats. Always cold, right? it's always cold. Well the water is but the, the air is right, right, right. Yeah, right. This nice. water is only this deep. Okay. And I mean for just an expanse. I mean it's oh, just as fun. clear as can be. Like his hat. I mean Portugal. it's just very cool. Yeah. Just yeah. So unbelievable. There's a lot of good spots up there and I've never seen well, if I had a card, I'd give it to you, and you could contact me, and you could right. stay in our treehouse while you're there. That's <laughs> an invite. Listen, this is I get invited around the world so far. People are like, "Hey, come stay on my couch." If you can whatever. find my jewelry, you, you can. That'll, that's a deal. Uh, if I find anything that you have, do you have uh, a pencil and paper, and I can write um, down my name and number? You guys and have a phone. Well, we're here. I'll text you because you can go on my YouTube channel. Uh -huh. Say, hey, my name's, what was your name? My name is Ray. I'm the Wicker Witch. Ray. I restore <laughs> wicker furniture. Okay. Marshall, back to Aria. Marshall. So go on to my channel, subscribe to my channel, and then underneath say, the Wicker Witch and Marshall met you at the beach today. Right? Yeah. And then we can have correspondence from that. Because I'm going to be for sure all over the country. Or you could type in YouTube right now. Yeah, do it well, so that we get his name and number and then we can Or I can give you my number. Well, you can, here's, I'll give you my phone number and you can send whatever you've got. What, when are you right. going to be up in Michigan? Um, 
I don't have plans yet, but okay. I'll make plans if yeah. you know that's the kind of what I'm doing. I'm the only spot I'm committed to now is Maryland in July because oh, okay. I have a Civil War property that's never been hunted and it's only two Ooh. miles away from the battle yeah. yeah, It's going to be spectacular, 80 acres. And, well, we're there all summer. Oh, we just can. Not there. You'll definitely find it. I found that three days ago. I'm on, yeah, so I'm on social media. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a loss. So, so I'm on no. social media, and I do post it. Uh, I've been on Bay News 9 for returning readings on mm -hmm. the news channel. Mm -hmm. like that. We've been watching Bay News. Yeah, so I was on Bay News 9. Uh, Trevor Pettiford, he came over to my house, did a, a piece on me. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it's a, so there's a story behind it, right? You sure, know? Sure. Belongs to somebody, it's somebody's heart. Yeah. yeah, and all I can get is a gold melted body, right? So stones are worthless unless they're above about a half carat. For real. Like anything below a half carat is just about worthless. No, they're not going to take a bunch of weight. No, they'll pop the stone out and hand you the stone and then you get the melt body. So when I find something like a gold chain, that's mine. It's just melted. It's gold, you know. Yeah. It's, oh well, it's just a chain, but rings I'll definitely keep and try to. To try to return it to the owner. So it's just hey, it's mine, it's mine. Generally, they got markings on the inside that somebody will know, you know what it is. It's mine yet. Yeah, had a little. Like I yeah. found one, um, you know, I'll show you. It had a ruby on the inside. Did you tell them the other one with the diamond that you found? Did I you saw see the, it? I saw the bands. No, the one that he just showed me. Holy moly. Thanks. So, my best find ever is. There in my hand. What is it? It's a ship nail. Oh, it's just 1700. Something nail. went down. Uh -huh. The ship went down out here, and then the nail worked its way all the way back to the beach. Sure. Right up here, actually. So, yeah, that's my best find. What so I consider. What, did, what do you do with that? Well, I'm going to have this dated. Like, that'll be a whole other video to where I take it to the university and have it dated uh -huh. or whatever. So, that's a whole other thing. Kind of like my discovery passion. I'd like to be on Discovery Channel or you know Travel Channel. Or stuff. Um, this one here, I found this one right at the end of that orange and yellow building down here, just past the blue building. Literally right at the corner on right this there. week. Um, two two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, but on the underside, it's got a. That's the science that I told you guys where everything starts collecting at a corner. It'll all mm -hmm. peel off the beach in the one corner in one spot. Mm -hmm. So I found four rings off the end of that corner within a, this month. I've met 28 rings this month. So wow. Nice. Well, it's fun. I've always found it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you ever buy a machine, I, I can get you the best deal in the country. So if you find a good deal, this guy mine lab? Pardon? From mine lab? Whatever machine you want. Oh. He's a dealer, uh, just a regular dealer, but I only deal with my lab because I'm, I like the technology. Yeah. Your boats every Saturday and Sunday. The weather is nice. That's, and they and, are in and out of the and water. And I heard a cabin, they are a cabin invite or some treehouse invite, so I'm, yeah. I'm liking it. Oh, we got a big treehouse. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I get to sleep in a tent for, <laughs> for real. I'm a tent guy. I love I'm, this. I'm yeah. a Vermonter, so it's Perfect. Pleasure okay. meeting you guys. Well, great. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.